Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 22nd through the 28th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aries? So we're not going to take those. It's too many. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Here we go. Lily, spiritual love, career. You're probably focusing on your career this month or this week. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So your career, your job, your work is going to be a big focus this week. Uh, there is a spiritual love connection here. Uh, maybe you need to listen to it, uh, follow it, follow your heart in some way. Right now you're tied down to a situation that is frustrating. Uh, my biggest advice is to follow your heart because it appears that you have a spiritual love connection here. Waiting for you to... Uh, run with it by the looks of things you're probably in some sort of frustrating situation I feel like this is a time of growth for you judgment judgment reversed so judgment reversed is moving on from a bad choice there could be feeling guilty you could be feeling guilty for something this is not answering the higher call. There's self-doubt. There's a need for advice. Um, something probably needs to come to an end. Judgment is a card of absolution and acceptance. It's hard to accept something. There could be fear of acceptance, um, not being accepted. Two of Swords, painful, stressful decision. Seven of Cups, seeing clearly, knowing what you need to do. I think that you do know what you need to do. I think that uh, you have to make a decision based on facts, based on the truth. But there's some sort of lack of, of uh, judgment. This is a poor judgment call. Somebody is making a poor judgment call and they're struggling right now to make a choice. I feel like you are... Well, if you take a look at this card, we have this person that you know, is really struggling. It's like you're probably hearing, you know, from from your guides or from spirits or from your gut, you know, that you have to make a painful, stressful decision. You're being poked, right? I think there's a lot of frustrations here. I think that you are frustrated because you know, this is, you know, the Seven of Cups. This is no illusion. There's no confusion here. I think that you clearly know that you have to make a judgment call and you may be feeling guilty you know, the judgment reverse is feeling guilty for having to make a decision that, you know, I'm not sure if it's if it's it's probably in the best interest of yourself, but it may not be in the best interest of somebody in your circle. OK, I think that you clearly do know that you have to make a judgment call. And I think there's some sort of delay, some sort of stagnation. You you are probably held back by fear. Maybe it's fear of acceptance or it's guilt. You may be held back by guilt. You may be feeling guilty for having to make this decision that you know that you have to make. It's clear. It's clear that you have another option. You you know that you have a better option. It's it's very, very clear. Okay. Um, but that two of swords is, you know, sitting on the fence. This is a painful choice. Um, you may be blocking your emotions you know, blocking yourself uh, from taking action for some reason. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is memories, nostalgia, um, feelings. There could be a soulmate connection here. You may, and you may be torn between two different, uh, this is uh, double loyalty, right? You have some sort of loyalty towards one person, but you want to go in another direction. So I feel like you probably have a soulmate connection here that you probably want to go towards, but there's some sort of feelings of guilt. 
you may have it you know when i say soulmate connection this could be some like a past life connection with the judgment card you have a, you i feel like you do have a, a soulmate connection here with somebody that you, maybe you were with in a past life and i don't say that very often it's clear there's a there's a strong pull in this direction Two of Wands. Or is, this does have to do with a choice. It has to do with a partnership. You have two options. You have two options right now. Okay. This is two options. This is two options. And this is options. Choices. It's also a card of consequences. Be careful. What you own owns you. Somebody is, is needing to make a decision. It is a life-changing decision. I think it's you. I think that you have two options. You have to make a life-changing decision. There's guilt. You know, I think there's some sort of guilt holding you back or fear of rejection. This could be, I mean, the two of wands reversed is discontent. And if you notice in both this card and this card, it's like your guides. In this card, same thing. We got somebody from like a guide or an angel that is telling you to do it. Just do it. You know, so it's like there's something that you need to do. Okay, you need to make the choice that is best for you. Don't feel guilty. Okay, if you have a connection that you see clearly that is pulling you towards it, go towards it. Stop stalling. I feel like you have been stalling and I think it's because of fear. And you may have been trying to block your feelings. There's blockages here. I feel like you've been choosing to stay safe. Right now you're in some sort of safety zone. It's time to step out of your safety zone. Staying put, you know, you're staying put in a situation that, you know, it probably it doesn't look like it's bringing you happiness. You know, you've been seeing this other option. You have another option. It's clear that you have another option. But there's stagnation here. It's like stalling, procrastinating. You need to stop procrastinating. Um, you're be, you're holding yourself back. You are, and, and, and you're holding yourself back from your own truth. And there could be some bad karma here with the judgment card. When you don't follow your truth, when you don't go down that path that is scary, you know, they will continue to uh, haunt you. It's almost like you're being haunted and things are, it's, there's a lot of frustrations here. You know, this, there's frustrations. You're in a frustrating situation. Uh, and I feel like you, interesting, you want to break free, but you can't because of fear. It's definitely because of fear. But you do have a spiritual love connection here. You do. I think it is a soulmate connection with somebody that you were probably with. Maybe you have past life karma with this person, you know. Or you've been with this person in a previous lifetime. Magician. Now, the magician is a card of action. It's a card of doing something about it. You have. This is what you asked for. Okay? This is manifestation. I feel like you have asked for, you know, um, a new path. Or you've asked for something. And they have brought in you this connection. Act now. Think later. And that's usually the Knight of Wands, but that's what just came out of my mouth. Take action. Be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. I feel like you have to take charge. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that has a connection to Source. The Magician has a divine connection to Source. This is somebody that is very skilled. This could be a creator of some sort. This is a, an awakening as well. With this, this is an awakening. And this is a card of self. You need to do what's right for yourself. You have all the resources within you to be successful. But you do have to take action. This is a week perhaps where you need to take action in regards to what you want. You may be going through a major awakening within yourself. The magician is an awakening.
King of Wands, reverse. There's a lot of fear here. That's your energy. You have the power. You have the power. It's almost like you've given your power away to a poor choice. To a, you know, somebody is holding you back. You're allowing them to hold you back. You need to take your power back. You need to take your power back. Stop feeling guilty. There's definitely frustrations here. There's a lack of confidence. There's self-doubt. It's time to get your life back on track. You deserve to have peace and harmony in your life. There's lack of confidence. There's fear. There's fear of taking control. Take control. Find your willpower. You have given somebody control. But you have the power right now, this week, to take it back. You have given your power away to somebody that is forceful. And I feel like this person makes you upset. They cause you to be frustrated. You have to choose what you want for your life. Do you want, like I said, that seven of cups is consequences. Be careful. What you own owns you. Do you want to be controlled by somebody that... Where there's no passion, where there's no love, or do you want to be in control of your own life? You're definitely got two options here. One option is something that you can, that is very familiar to you. You may have connected with somebody where there's a lot of familiar, familiarity. This person just feels familiar that's your past life connection this is what you asked for but there's so much fear and playing it safe you're going to be put in a position this week to make a choice choose wisely because what you own owns you don't let fear hold you back take action right now just do it. This is what you asked for. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is just do it. It really is. Be honest. Be direct. We have, we have somebody here that is in need of help. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus because Taurus got this card as well. Um, but y'all could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got somebody here that needs help. All right. They may be waiting for your arrival. They may be waiting for you. It's interesting that I said at now, think later. That's typically the nine of wands, but I, I almost said it again. Do it now, whatever it is. Be honest. This is like an arrival of some sort. This is two people coming together in at a, it feels like it's like almost like a desperate time. It's like at the, at the perfect time as well. This is, this is divine timing. It really is divine timing. Everything happens at the right time. You may have to think fast. Take a risk. I do believe that there is a uh, sudden arrival or there's a sudden connection or there's a sudden opportunity to go in a new direction. And I think that you should take it. The answer is yes. Magician is a yes card. Yes. Do it. Just do it. This is take a chance, and, and I think that you do need to take a chance. Take a risk. Make Take a risk. I feel like this is risky, but, you know, this, this is like life-saving as well.
I feel like there's courage that is needed. Somebody needs to have courage to just do it. There's going to be an arrival or there has been or a meetup or something like that. This has all happened for a reason. See, it's a faded event. It is a faded event. It's all happening for a reason. This is a surprise. I think there's a there's a connection here. Okay, there's there's some sort of shock. There's some sort of major disruption. There. This is this is uh, starting with a clean slate. I do believe that there is probably going to be uh, an event that changes your life this week. And you're probably going to have to make a life-changing decision and don't feel guilty for doing so. You have been feeling tied down in a frustrating situation for a while. I think there's an opportunity to connect with a soulmate that you have been with before in a past life. I think there's a past life connection here and I don't say that very often. Oh, you are definitely going to be experiencing a major internal disruption. Things are may crumble at home. I'm just being honest. Things may crumble, you know, wherever it is in your in your foundation. Your whatever this foundation is, it's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. And things are gonna get lit up. There's gonna be some fireworks. There's gonna be, you know. I think it's like an it's like an explosion, okay. This is the universe forcing somebody, I don't know, to move on or to get out or to, you know, this is light being shed. It's time to rebuild something solid, something stable. This is a dark place. It's dangerous. It feels like it's dangerous even, you know. Yes, things are going to change and they're going to and they're going to change really fast. This is a sudden change. And you may feel uneasy about it. Some you may even get angry. Somebody may get angry. They could get upset. Really, really, really fast. There could be a fight. There could be an argument with these two cards. That causes a departure. Somebody could be running into somebody else. And, you know, it's a soulmate connection. There is a soulmate connection here. There is. It comes out of nowhere. And maybe that's where the disruption is. Something is going to happen very, very suddenly. And I feel this puts you face to face with a soulmate. Maybe it's already happened. Anyhow, I feel like this week you are going to have to make a difficult choice between two paths. Choose wisely. Because what you own owns you. There's an opportunity for love here with that Six of Cups. There is. This is exactly what you asked for. Go for it. The universe is going to put you in this position to make a choice. It's going to happen suddenly. And you're going to feel disruption on the inside. You know, you're going to feel the disruption. You're going to feel the... Uh, Oh, what's the word for it? I don't know. It's something in your heart. You know what I mean? You're going to feel the emotions, put it that way. Angst, maybe. Upset. Upset. 
anyhow, um, I feel like this week things are going to change. I feel like you need to not feel guilty. You need to move on from a poor decision that you made. There will be forgiveness and there's an opportunity for uh, a connection with a soulmate this week. And I think that you should you should go for it. I think it's very sudden. You know, this is this could even be like um, coming to somebody's rescue. You know, there is somebody that is coming to the rescue. Absolutely, there is. This is all happening for a reason. This is all meant to be. You can build a stronger foundation with whoever this person is. You, there's a chance to start from scratch, to start over. Yes, this is what you asked for. Do it. Don't let fear hold you back. Go for it. Good luck.